Welcome to today's lab session, where we'll guide you through the process of performing an unattended upgrade of a vCenter server appliance using the CLI installer. This is our setup for today. Currently, we have an existing vCenter server 7.0 running on ESXi1. For this demonstration, we are using a Windows-based physical computer to execute the deployment command. Before we dive into the upgrade process, there are a few prerequisites you need to ensure. First, download the VMware vCenter Server Appliance ISO file from the VMware Customer Connect portal. This file is essential for the upgrade process. Additionally, as a precautionary measure, make sure to back up your vCenter server before initiating the upgrade. In our lab environment, we've assigned a temporary IP address, 192.168.1.26, for the upgrade process. This IP address is crucial during the transition. When performing the upgrade, the temporary vCenter server instance requires the same access rights as the permanent vCenter server instance to port 443. It's essential to ensure that any firewalls in your environment allow both the temporary and permanent vCenter server instances to access port 443. Now that we have everything in place, let's start the upgrade process. Mount the ISO file on the client computer and navigate to the VCSA CLI installer folder. Open the template folder and go into the upgrade subfolder. Select existing vCenter version. Before you run the CLI command to upgrade a vCenter server appliance, you must prepare a JSON file with configuration parameters and their values for your upgrade specification. The vCenter server installer contains JSON templates for all upgrade types. I'm selecting the embedded vCSA on esxi.json file and copying the upgrade templates from the upgrade subfolder to your workspace. I will copy the embedded VCSA on ESXi.json template to my D drive. Open the template file using a text editor. I will use Notepad++ as my text editor. To ensure the correct syntax of your JSON configuration file, use a JSON editor. Before starting, I'm logging into the target ESXi host. In the ESXi section, you need to insert the IP address or FQDN of the target ESXi host on which you want to deploy the upgraded vCenter server. Insert the password of the root user of the target ESXi host. Then enter the name of the network to which the appliance should connect. The old vCenter needs to communicate with the new vCenter using this network. Next, insert the data store where you want to store the configuration files and virtual disk of the appliance. In the appliance section, set true to deploy the appliance with thin disk mode. Select the size of the appliance. I will choose the size as tiny. Provide an inventory name for the new vCenter server appliance. Now we can configure the temporary network section. First, select the IP family and IP mode. Then, insert the temporary IP address, prefix, gateway, and DNS server IP address. In the User Options section, you can select the data that you want to copy from the source vCenter to the new vCenter server. In this lab session, I will choose to copy only configurations and inventory options. Next, 
You need to insert the details of the source appliance that you want to upgrade. Insert the host name or IP address of the ESXi host on which the source vCenter is running. Provide the root user password. Then, you need to insert the source vCenter server's IP address, username, single sign-on password, and root password. Now, save the edited JSON file. Go to Start and open Windows Command Prompt. Let's navigate to the VCSACLI installer subdirectory based on your operating system. Since we are using a Windows computer in this lab, we'll go to the VCSACLI installer and then the Win32 subdirectory. You need to run vcsa-deploy.exe file. Now that we're in the right directory, let's verify that we prepared the upgrade template correctly. Use this command. Give the path to the JSON file that we created earlier. In this lab session, I saved the edited JSON file on the D drive. Click Enter to execute the command. Once the template verification is complete, check the log file at the provided link for any issues. With the template verified, we can now proceed to perform the upgrade. Execute this command. Please make sure that you are still inside the Win32 folder because you need to run the vcsa-deploy.exe file. This argument will accept the end-user license agreement. Then, confirm your acknowledgement of VMware Customer Improvement Program participation. Finally, insert the path to the JSON file that we created earlier and press Enter. Log in to the ESXi host and check the tasks for better understanding. During the upgrade, you may be prompted to accept the thumbprint. Press 1 to accept and continue. Now, observe as the VM is deployed on the ESXi host with the given name, and the import vApp task is running. The VCSA deployment is still in progress, so be patient and wait until the task is complete. Congratulations! The deployment process is now complete. You can log in to the ESXi host running to verify that the updated vCenter server is running and ensure that old vCenter instance is powered off. Additionally, you can check the workflow log directory for detailed information on the deployment status. Now you can log in to the upgraded vCenter server using your web browser. Thank you for joining us in this tutorial. If you have any questions or encounter any issues during the upgrade process, feel free to leave a comment below.